we hit up Tough Gong and Cashflow Studios to discover the secrets about Pro Tools. Technology is once again at the core of music discussion and now the latest issue is the use of Pro Tools, an updated software from the analog 24-track system that is used to produce music. Pro Tools has make it easier. Pro Tools, some believe, is in the hands of too many untrained persons. I think modern technology has hurt the business. Too many people have Pro Tools in their home. That, I think that's where most of the garbage is coming from. You have some guys who make good music, and you have guys who make bad music. It's really about um, and everybody and everybody can have Pro Tools. It's like, it's what you do with it, you know what I mean? Your tricks, you know what I mean? What cash flow do with Pro Tools. Yo, cash flow. Money is sick. Producers believe that Pro Tools allow for them to maximize time, hence putting out work faster. With the editing, it's much easier. So you record a live rhythm and want to clean up like a jump track. You can actually see your waves with Pro Tools, with 24 track, you just have to like imagine it or support and I mean Pro Tools just make it easier than the 24 track. When you have to pay for studio time, I know it's a studio time cost you for argument's sake, it costs you a grand for an hour. You're going to go in the studio and give, give your best. It was expensive to even go to the studio and book studio time at those big studios. And sometimes you can't even get in. So now when Pro Tools, when they invent this software now, where you can use it with your computer now and create music, and you get the same quality as the big studio, the big 24-track studio, I mean, it's a good thing and let we through the gate, yeah. Pro Tool also means less work for artists. Back in the days, I'm on the book like eight hour. No, I'm only book like three hour just to lick the rhythm alone. Uh, it's more work for the, for the for the engineers still because um the artist can just do the chorus one time and you can just copy it or in, in the musical term we call it fly. So you just need to do the chorus one time and you can fly it or you can you don't have to the do about the, the second verse again. Maybe the biggest impact of Pro Tool thus far is developing young talent. Um, Pro Tool is a good thing to the music industry in the sense that um, it has opened a lot of opportunity for young producers like me, um, for cash flow and upcoming producers of course and it makes it easy for you know everyone can own a little studio I mean look at this, this is my bedroom I know it's now a studio so it's a blessing and also a curse I do like the job creation aspect of Pro Tool, at least technology is helping with unemployment. Now another technology is helping with the sound of music. Jay-Z had his own funeral for the death of Auto-Tune, but it's nowhere close to the grave. This is anti-auto-tune, death for the ringtone. This ain't for iTunes, this ain't for sing -along. This is Sinatra at the opera, bring a blonde. It's a different sound, some like it, some don't. Auto-Tune, one of the oldest effects that producers and artists used to enhance their outputs. Something that was used long time before, even back in 24 track days, because even had um, the big song, Cheer, Do You Believe in Life After Love? After love? I mean, that was Arthur too. And it... Do you believe? Now, auto-tune is extremely popular, especially amongst the new artists. Oh, we have a song where busy do, mm -hmm. and it, it's about auto-tune controversy that take place where this thing can also change the words, if depending on how the engineer will mix mix it. So all them things they count to, it come with a circumstance, a consequence. So you have to make sure. So when you when you go use it on your voice, you have to make sure. Say the engineer will mix your thing. Not only I listen from where I learn, but I listen from the music we're in him. I mean, my email full with a lot, a lot of young artists, and most of them, I don't hear this, uni I don't hear the natural voice. All of, most of them using the auto-tune on their voice, but for me, I like the natural sound voice. I mean, like, for instance, you know, like Movado, Conscience, I acting, you know, them, that natural sound. Mood sign be a foot, she have to argue. Put up on the road and say, artists get beaten. Cause Audience, I say, I'm not, that's not you, man. We want to see the original man who sing that song. That I, I don't know you. You can't come tell me that you sing this song because I'm not hearing this song. You have to get an attitude, man. We have to just look into those things because while we are doing it for the fun of it, people are taking it serious. People paying their money to come to shows because they hear this song and this song popular and they, they hear a particular sound of the song where it gravi them gravitate too. 
Now artists can use auto tune and his voice to sound good. I mean, something wrong. Auto tune, Mike, DJ Neil. I'll figure that one out in this break. But coming up next. You know what? I went to BT recently. <laughs> Whoa!